Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hallelujah. Giving you a few minutes to come in. Um, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. God has been so good to us. So good to us. All right. Good to see your name, Sister D. God is good. God is good. God is good. All right, all right. Uh, we will get started, not right now on our lesson for tonight, which will be really uh, short. Good evening, Sister G. Um, I'm not long-winded. Um, if you have a paper, pencil, or a pen, or a tablet, please have it with you. I do have some scriptures that I would like for you to write down and just to view them sometime. Praise the Lord. Deacon Lyons, Sister Reba, Sister Beverly, good to see your names online this evening. All right. I hope that um, we have been in our personal guide of our 52 days to holistic health, remembering um, our word for this series, and you can put it in, put it in the chat box. What is our word for this series? Good to see you, Bishop. What is our word for this series? Uh, Sunday, we were on a healthy me. So healthy is our word uh, for this season, a healthy me. And just to kind of go over for this week on our 52 days to holistic uh, health, uh, our week one is days one through 12, and today is the 10th. Uh, we thank God for this outline. And one reason why I'm so thankful for it is because in my mindset, words, the word repeat, repeat, repeat comes to my mind because then I look at Romans 12 and 2. Let's us know to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So it's, it's so important that we repeat scripture or practices or habits uh, to help us in our health, health spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. So this is so, so very, very, very important because also in Hebrews 4 and 12, it tells us. soul and spirit and and so so that we will have the mind of Christ and we want our minds to be friends to us and not foe so it's so important to repeat uh, the word of God, and even having our prayer life is so important. And in our day uh, for today with our 52 weeks, uh, we had our morning prayer, uh, spiritual, where we focused on gratitude and praise for God's presence. And that's going to be important in what we go over tonight because for our strength that we have, which God has given us, it's not of our own, but a lot of times we have a tendency to work out of our own strength and not God's, all right? We feel that we can uh, handle everything. We have the answer and we do about what we've been talking about in our just impulsive decision-making. But when we stop and realize that the presence of God abides within us, knowing that our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can constantly, constantly abide in the presence of God, which is science, which 
when I hit that a little bit, seeking guidance and then seeking first the kingdom of God. And then in our evening prayer, uh, mental, um, to reflect on our goals for this building of our spiritual me. All right. And I always feel that we are more spiritual than dirt or human beings. Um, my mind goes back to when I had an opportunity to speak at the seven last words. Really what got to me was the fact of committing my spirit to God. And then it made me think of the scripture, which um, I may have to search it a little more in context to see if it really uh, agrees with what is in my heart, that I am persuaded that whatever I commit unto him, he is able to keep that until he returns for me. And even if I'm on earth and my last breath, I can commit my spirit still to him. All right, so tonight we're going to talk a little about, uh, right before I go there, it's two other scriptures I'd like for you to write down. Remembering Romans 12 and 2, and then Hebrews 4 and 12, and then Psalm 1, and when we go to the fourth verse, I believe it is, where it says, happy, the beginning of it says, happy is the man or human being that delights in the law of the Lord and meditates in a day and night. So that brings us to that place of the word of God. Also in Matthew 6, which I had stated about seeking first the kingdom of God. So now we're going to look at our strength, knowing that God has given us the strength. But our strength, as long as we abide in him, we can go from strength to strength. We can go from strength to strength. Strength. The word strength is mentioned several times in the Bible, applying to both natural and supernatural strength. I love when I can work in the supernatural strength. The Greek word means power, strength, might. In the Bible, strength is often linked to God's power, Remembering being linked to God's power, we are partakers of a divine nature. And there are precious promises because of that link we have to God's promise. Believers are to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. You can find that in Ephesians 6 and 10. The unlimited power of Christ is the source of our strength. The unlimited power of Christ is the source of our strength for those that are in Christ. According to the Bible, what strength we have is not our own. It ultimately comes from God. And let us not be boastful in this wisdom or the strength that we have, but let the one who boasts boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me that I am the Lord. And Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24. That is so important to know him, which we're gonna cover that a little bit further in our lesson tonight. No matter how strong we think we are, the flesh is weak, Mark 14, 38. Left to our own devices, we will fall into temptation and fall in any worthy endeavor. What we set our minds to do and we don't include him, it is possible it could fail. Now, we can accomplish things and um, projects and goals we have, but if we edge God out, we may run into some problems. And then being human, we'll think I did this and I'm this good and have such confidence in self until it will bring a downfall. So we must commend our strength is from the Lord. All right? Because in our, and then it's when we are weak, because of his strength, we are strong. 
The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on heights. We find that in Habakkuk 319. God's strength in the Bible is readily seen in many of his works. He created the world and all that is in it by the power of his word. The word of God is alive. It is alive. It is alive. That's why we have to be, even words we speak, negative or positive, they are alive. They're living. And we must be careful what we say. say. He parted the Red Sea, caused the sun to stand still, raised the dead, and performed many other great and glorious deeds. Praise him for his mighty acts, Psalm 150 and 2. The Bible places an emphasis on God's strength in our salvation. Man can in no way save himself. Only God can save. Paul makes his abundant, this abundantly clear. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God. Not by works so that anyone could boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Put in the chat box, not by my works, not by my works, but my faith, my faith in Jesus Christ. Look at our helplessness and God's insuperable strength. God alone has the power to save or to destroy. We can find that in James 4 and 12. Our strength is found in Christ and having a relationship with him. It is Christ who empowers us to do whatever accomplish God's will. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. This doesn't mean my natural goals or materialistic goals. But if we go back to what we've been studying and being taught and preached, proclaim that people, systems, and culture, my strength I need for people to handle the, situ the assignment that God has given me. My strength, somebody put in the chat box, my strength is for people. There is, there is no other source that gives us the strength to overcome the world with its trials and temptation. Our strength is in the Lord. Nehemiah said he encouraged the people after reviving them to return to the word of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And that strength from God is not for us to accomplish great and mighty things, but that strength is the strength that comes from him of being our refuge, our strength, our very present help, our provider, our protector, our rock. Knowing that and that he provides for us, then it puts us in a position of security that strength is that he gives us security. He secures us. And when we are obedient, willing and obedient to follow his word, his rules, his precepts, his, his commandments, it gives joy to him that we are obedient and follow. And he secures us. Even when it says in Matthew, seek him first. That means having a desire, wanting to know all about him. Every essence of his being, his character, his love for us, for salvation. Wanting to know that and his righteousness that puts us, corrects us in our thinking, in our feeling. And he says, Everything else would be added. Prior to that verse, it talks about a cure to anxiety, 
He's telling you what he provides, what he does. He's telling us that. And then he says, do that first and everything else will come. He will supply all of our needs, all of our needs. Those who rely on God's strength from day to day will find in him a never ending spring of energy. Blessed are those whose strength is in you. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. We rely on him, trust him, trust him, trust him. How can we accomplish this? If we look at strength trainers, it's a process, physical increased strength, committing to a structured approach to resistance training, adequate nutrition, rest and recovery, all that workout, squats and all that, committed to it and working at it. When it comes to our mental and emotional increased strength, it is a process that involves developing resistance, I'm sorry, resilience. We can take the challenge, we can do it. Managing stress and cultivating a positive mindset. It's work, it's work, it's work. It's our responsibility, it's our choice, it's work. Spiritually to increase strength is a deep personal journey of faith from one individual to another, it depends. Don't look at someone else's journey, their faith journey and start feeling bad or don't look at someone else, I wanna be like them. No, you do not. You want to be yourself whom Christ, whom God has created. You want to be yourself. And that look, we when we look at that and it's a personal journey, it depends on our beliefs, our values and experiences. So important to know the word, to study the word, to think about the word, to meditate on the word. So important, so important. Repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Remember, it's alive. It works. It divides the soul and the spirit, gets in the joints. It works. It works. So that's so important. And that will change our beliefs. Sometimes we feel, I can't make it, I can't do it, I'm not this, uh, I'm not valuable. But what has Christ done for us? He took us out of darkness, transferred us from darkness, darkness planted us in the kingdom of light, renewed our spirits, we are revived again and restored, reconciled to God. And we are valuable. He has put everything in us that we need to live in this world, a life full of abundance of love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, meekness, self-control. We have it. this journey, our values, what do you value? And experiences, we will have experiences, we will have challenges, we will have trials. Having those will give us revelation of who God is, his character, his strength, his provision, his protection, his refuge, him being a rock. Have those experiences. Remembering he's with us, never to leave us, and he will strengthen us. So this journey, let's look at it. Abiding in God's presence. 
making it a daily practice and routine to abide in its presence. Prayer. I'm not here to teach how to pray or pray this way. There's several ways of praying. Sometimes just in our meditating, that's a prayer. Just in our thinking, it's a prayer. Thoughts that we have, it's a prayer. In silence, it's a prayer. Lamenting, it's a prayer. Praising, it's a prayer. Confession, it's a prayer. It's a prayer. Praying without ceasing. That's like acknowledging him in all our ways, not leaning to our own understanding because it is the strength of him that we live in. We move and have our being. The poet talked about that. Prayer, affirmation of our beliefs. During the day, if you have to say to yourself, you can look in the mirror or just in meditating or thought, I am a child of God. And what's so good about this strengthens you because you're not you're not having your mind on the environment or things that you're experiences, experiencing, challenges, tests, trials, but you're trusting him. I'm a, I'm a trust him. I'm a child of God. Remember this. He has given us precious promises, but they come with a responsibility, willing and obedient, willing and obedient. First, we need to, when we speaks of him being first and seeking him, we're surrendering, we're submitting to him. Not our will, but his will be done in our lives, in every essence of our life. We submit to him. And growing in our strength, from strength to strength, not only do we submit to him, we submit to one another. Submission, not my will, Lord, but your will be done in my life. And that I am focused and setting my mind on things above. So when any opportunity comes that I can fulfill my assignment to fulfill a need of someone else, I have the strength to do so. And I've had my mind on him and in his presence and I can discern. And I have the Holy Spirit to help me. I have the Holy Spirit to help me. He's given us everything we need. So affirmations of our beliefs. Some beliefs may need to be changed because this old nature, having us think that we're not valuable or what someone says to us, uh, we take that for a word when God's word says something else. So let us affirm. Read the word of God. Think on it. Again, I have to say, meditate on it. Be in silence on, on his word. The word of God is so important. Even in Psalms, it talks about when you delight on his word, you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You won't be moved and whatever you do shall prosper. whatever you do shall prosper. Now, it may not be something that God wills for you, but there's a prophet, prof, uh, pro, a, pro, a prophet in it because we'll know how to do the next time. It's a learning experience. So we got to meditate, learn the word of God, learn everything you can about God, his character, learn about him. That's what he wants you to do. Because he loves us so, we are his people, and he just wants us to allow him to be our God. Type in the chat, I will allow 
God to be my God. And I'm going to tell you all, the chat's so little, I can't see it and try to read what some of the comments are. Oh, here's a larger site on this one. All right. But type in the chat, I will allow God to be my God. I will allow God to be my God. Community, community engagement. This is when we come together to encourage and support one another. We sing songs uh, the scripture talks about, just sharing with one another. And I'm going to take a step and go back to an ax when they fulfilled the needs of those. They sold their houses. They gave to them. I'm going to leave that alone because I don't want anyone to get upset with me. All right, but we're holistic health, healthy in our spirit, soul, and body. To me, spirit is first because our spirits are the most valuable things that we have, our spirits. Because remember, we were darkened and we were uh, separated from God and the Holy Spirit because of Jesus and sending his spirit our spirits were quickened and made alive. Our spirits are so important. And we want to do that renewing of our mind because we want our mind to be our friend. Now this body is a sinful body and we gotta keep it down, all right? Work on that. So our daily practices, I'm almost done. I remember I told you all I'm not long. Our daily practices and habits, are to be according to what the word says. And we can look at that as far as forgive those, forgiveness. Uh, we can look at it, love one another, love your neighbor as yourself. First of all, loving God. And you gotta love yourself because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. Because if you don't love yourself, it's gonna be hard for us to love our neighbors. But love our neighbors. Um, have a, he's created us to worship him for his marvelous acts. So having an attitude of gratitude, they would say a praise from the fruits of our lips. And that is something I like to encourage us to do is when we praise God in the sanctuary, that we give the fruit of our lips and not just always a clap and we're not saying anything, because God is good and he wants praise from the fruit of our lips. So let us work on that. Um, and there's other practices that we have uh, when it comes to our family, to marriage, laws of God that we go by. We want to remember that and be willing and obedient uh, to uh, fulfill these practices and habits. As God's children, we are strengthened by his grace. Hebrews lets us know that. By the time we spend in prayer and by the promise that God will reward us, affects us in uh, Galatians. So let us remember that many around us may grow weary and faint, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not. And he will teach us. For we have the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide us into all truths. Even to convict us. Uh, give us wisdom. Teach us. If you are thankful for the Holy Spirit Type in the chat box, I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit. I am thankful. He will warn us. He will help us. And that's strength. That is strength. That is strength. That is strength. And we can go from strength to strength. So just remember, abiding in his presence. Prayer. Pray without ceasing. That definitely means that we don't go a day without praying. Affirm our beliefs in Jesus Christ. 
Read the word of God. Think on it. Meditate on it. Get resources that will open your understanding. Pray because the Holy Spirit teaches us and inspires us. Meditate and learn. Also have community engagement, meaning our church, our neighbors, our family, that strength in numbers, good, healthy communication, holistic health. We work on that. I would say go spiritual first because everything else is going to come in line. Daily practices and habits according to the word of God. Surrender unto him, for he is able to keep that which we have committed to him. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Say, put it in the chat box if that's going to help you. Will that help you sleep tonight? All right, all right. All right, we're going to have prayer. And we ha if you have a prayer request, you can make it known. Um, and we can include your request in the prayer. I'll try to see here so I don't miss anyone. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's remember Sister Kim Ball. Um, she's recuperating. Uh, remember her and also Sister Christine Ward. Uh, she's recuperating, doing good. And also let's remember Brother Dennis Johnson in prayer, and also Jonathan P Pantages in prayer. Um, there's a lot to pray for. Uh, just sometimes in praying, I, mean, I just want to share this. There are a lot of requests sometimes in prayer or what individuals want. And I've heard some so it brought me to a point where I just ask God help what his will is for them. And sometimes I can ask and he'll let me know. But sometimes some things we go through, we need to go through them. I spoke about experiences. We get revelation of who God is and his character. A lot of times we wanna pray ourselves or individuals out of something, but God may be working something in our lives at that time. Um, and that's possible. Uh, so just to keep that in mind, um, and also uh, Deacon Lyon, and his family. Uh, so let's not forget our 52 days. Let's continue that because it will help us go from strength to strength, knowing that the Lord is our strength. Also, um, Bishop put, let us remember uh, Elder Bacon and his family, his father passing away. And all the requests that are on here, um, I may not call by name, but I've called them when I've seen them. So let us just pray. Father, we thank you for your loving kindness, your mercy, and your grace. And we thank you, Father, because we understand that the strength that we do have it comes from you. Everything we have comes from you. And we just thank you, Lord. And to understand that that strength is your protection, your refuge, your provisions, your stronghold, your force, your ability that you give us to do what is your will. And Father, help us in the area of strengthening our strength that we have in you by acknowledging your presence, by prayer and supplication, by just expressing how we feel 
and just our thoughts and our mindset. Father, just help us in that area. We just thank you, Lord. Thank you for your word. Your word is powerful. It's alive. What you have said has gone out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Letting me remember that you've done everything in the middle. It is done, finished on the cross. It just has to be played out, manifested in our lives. If we can just believe that, that we are in your hand, God, and nobody can pluck us out and we are safe, we are secure, we are refuge in you and no one can take us out and we will be saved, not maybe, and I hope I make it. No, my belief is that I have already made it. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. When I know that, I can rest in your faithfulness. I can live this life out and be willing and obedient to your word. I thank you for your strength today. I thank you for your strength today that you have given all of us. And if we can just affirm that Holy Spirit, bring it to our remembrance when we're going through challenges and trials to confirm what you have done in our lives for us, Jesus, at the cross. We thank you, Lord. And those that have made requests, oh God, help those individuals. You know what's best. Help them, Lord. Help them. We pray in the name of Jesus. Help them, Lord. And we just thank you, Father, just that fire that you put in us, oh God, to be healthy, holistically, spirit, soul, and body, the soul covers the mental and emotional, oh God. We just thank you. We thank you. There's none like you. You are our source. You are our source. And we boast in the strength that you have given us, God. We just thank you. And also, God, just continue to protect, give traveling mercies, and divine intervention is needed with pastor and first lady, God. We just thank you. Help them, oh God, to take the next day, if it be your will, to take the next day of just relaxing their minds in the name of Jesus, we pray. And Lord, we just thank you. And we thank you for everyone that's on today. And we trust that their hearts are encouraged and they will journey in the faith that you have given us because Jesus you are the author and the finisher of our faith. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Uh, to remind you of announcements, what you can do, you can go to our app or you can go on the website and you can click and it will give you the announcements for the week. We just love you. Thank God for you. And have a blessed night, sweet dreams of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen.